For the first time in over 100 years, the U.S. is out a Marine Corps commandant. And that is because of one senator who represents roughly 1.5% of the American population, Tommy Tuberville of Alabama, who is also on the Armed Services Committee. You have probably been hearing a lot about Senator Tuberville lately for insisting that white nationalists are just American. Tuberville has also been holding up hundreds of top military promotions because he wants to impose forced birth on every American service member and their families. Now, to be clear, abortion procedures are not covered by the Department of Defense unless the mother's life is at risk or the pregnancy is a result of rape or incest. But after the Dobbs ruling last year, the Pentagon issued a new policy granting leave and covering travel expenses for service members in states where abortion is illegal. And that is not a small number. About 40% of all women in active duty or DOD civilian jobs now have limited or no access to abortions, a RAND study shows. Congress, Congresswoman Mickey Sherrill, a former Navy pilot, noted this today. To do this because he wants to impose, Tuberville wants to impose his own extremist views on service women and military families is really unconscionable. Right now we have women serving across the country who have no access to quality reproductive health services. We are now talking about women who are not just service women but the families of service members who are stationed mm -hmm. in places like Texas, which has about 120,000 active duty service members. Imagine that you have a high risk pregnancy in Texas right now. But Senator Tuberville is determined to grind the American defense apparatus to a halt so he can force those women to carry pregnancies to term against their will. Doug Jones is a former Democratic senator of Alabama who preceded Tuberville, now a distinguished senior fellow at the Center for American Progress, and he joins me now. Um, well, I guess my first question is, what do you think of what Mr. Tuberville is doing, the senator is doing, and, and do you think it, you know, plays well in the state that you represented of Alabama? Well, I, I'm not sure which thing you're talking about. Are you talking about his white nationalist views? Are you talking about his military nominations, or, or what are we talking about? There's so many things that I think that he is doing that, quite frankly, Chris, is just embarrassing uh, to the state. Even though there are so many people that might say they support it, I don't think they really fully appreciate, especially on the nominations process, what he's doing. Uh, we, we've, we've got a state that is a strong military presence, strong veteran presence. They understand uh, the need to have these generals promoted, to have them go up the chain, how important that is to morale. Um, that's incredibly important. And the thing involving uh, the abortion policy, Chris, it's not really completely a new policy in the sense that it, the D Department of Defense has paid for people to go out of state, out of uh, area, if, there was, if it was needed. That's a policy that's been in effect because we've got right. to support our military. We've got to support folks. So this is nothing really new. I, I really think that this is an attack, again, on women, I don't think he likes them in the service, doesn't want them in the service, and he's doing what he can to drive them out. You, you mentioned, of course, before the controversy uh, that the senator has engaged in about uh, appearing to def It's unclear. Does he not know what white nationalism is? He, he seems to be skeptical of any efforts by the Department of Defense to find and, and, and block from, you know, joining the service outright white nationalists, right? Um, and he, he doesn't like that. He thinks that it's unclear what he understands about this. this is him talking to our own Ryan Nobles, uh, giving his sort of latest version of this. Take a listen. I wonder if you could kind of clarify for us what you meant on CNN about white nationalism and, and your, generally your thoughts. Yeah, on listen, that. I'm totally against any racism. And I'm told that white nationalism, they consider racism. I'm totally against that. I don't. What is he doing here? Is he is he playing like he doesn't understand, or does he not understand? Do you know? I, I think he is bending to pressure from his colleagues that finally said enough is enough, Senator. Uh, this is wrong. This is wrong to be in the military. Uh, white nationalism is pure racism. It's a racism in its rawest form. Everybody knows that. I, it was just stunning to me that he said, "I'm told." that it was white race. I mean, he told, he told CNN the other night, well, it was just her opinion it was right, white race, uh, that it was racism. It, it is very difficult with him when he says these things, which, by the way, was not his first rodeo. 
on talking about right, white nationalism uh, and including some other racist comments. This is not the first time that has happened. So I think he's bending to some pressure. Uh, it's clear that he really didn't believe it or want to say it. At least that's the impression you get with watching and listening to him, that he was begrudgingly trying to clarify uh, for, for his colleague's sake, not his. Yeah, that, that, that's a that's a good and important point. He, every every bite at the apple, he keeps doing the same thing. Well, you say it's this, and if they say that, then I guess. But I, it's, it's like you could. I mean, you, you're a U.S. senator. You can go read a few books, spend a few hours trying to figure out what the term means. Google it. I don't know. Well, but this more, this thing of like, well, they keep telling Chris, me. Yeah, yeah. More importantly, he's from Alabama. He should know things like this. Remember. This is a guy who, as a candidate, did not know what the Voting Rights Act was. I keep coming back to that because that was the first telltale sign about where he actually stands on things, when you don't even know what it is. And he didn't. It was clear that he didn't know that. So a senator from Alabama ought to know our history, ought to know where we are, ought to be on the right side of history uh, and not the wrong side. And he is clearly consistently been on the wrong side of history on this issue as well as the military issue. Doug Jones, uh, who served as senator from Alabama, thank you very much.